Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. Intelligence reports a large unit moving in the open. So the Dragon's rejects are moving to intercept it. Alright, so we tracked the force down here, moving along this valley. So we're going to just move up and take them out. Looks like they've got one, two, three, four lances plus their leader. So this should be interesting. I don't know where they're all going to be. We were Our drop point was here, but this area up here was uh, off limits. So there's got to be... Like all the way along here, it's got to be full of enemies. There was only a handful of places that I could drop, so decided to drop on the land here rather than over here and try to make my way through the water. So we're going to move up. We brought uh, a total of eight units with us. This is a three and a half skull assassinate mission, so I wasn't really sure how difficult it was going to be, but looking up ahead, looks like we got a couple of Nidhogs here. So what we have with us today, we got Taskmaster and the Vulture. Um, there's been a couple of minor changes to the mech. So the Vulture has got a new um, optics system for longer range targeting, so that should help out. Uh, we put Flatline in the Trebuchet, in Raider's Trebuchet, which is the large laser to two MRMs. Um, he was running the Hetzer and stuff before, but I brought him forward because I, I uh, actually put um, Ice House into the Longbow, which we now have set up. So I was able to pick up a couple of Clan LRM-20s. I did go ahead and build the longbow, as I said I was going to do it with the four LRM-10s and the two large lasers. Then I picked up a couple of clan LRM-20s, so I pulled out the two large lasers, replaced them with ER medium lasers, put the clan LRM-20s in, and added a few heat sinks. So it's relatively heat neutral. Those medium lasers are going to go once we get a couple more clan LRM-20s, but right now that's kind of where we're sitting. We've got, uh, you know, ample amounts of thunder ammo. Um, we've got chaff, arrow. Uh, or sorry, Artemis, Deadfire. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in here which we can use. Actually, I'm going to switch quickly to... Uh, how much Sam do we have? 120. we got a couple of turns of Sam. So let's actually go Chaff. Uh, Artemis. And then Sam and Sam for shooting on the, the copters. Um, so yeah, so it's also got an AMS Mark II, which we're going to turn on overload for now. Um, and going back to the main lance, uh, we brought Bomber in on the Nidhogg. I was going to use it to scout with because I wasn't really sure how difficult this match was going to be. Uh, Sarge is on the Trebuchet again. Uh, Tiger Tails in the Rifleman, which does have uh, improved targeting now at longer ranges because I added a couple things for the head. I think it was improved optics again. Can't remember what it was, so her targeting should be better at longer range. Um, and then, you know, Retriever. So I redid the Hellbringer. Um, the Bushwhacker got whacked in one of my offline missions. I, it was a mission against the clan. It was supposed to be easy. Uh, it was a retrieval mission. The first lance I was able to wipe out really quickly, and then the second lance consisted of... Uh, it was a second lance plus a support lance. So there was three summoners which are 70 tonners, an Osprey with a, uh, had a Gauss rifle and a PPC, a, um, uh, what else did it have? Uh, an Avatar, um, a vehicle with three large pulse lasers, and uh, what was the last thing now? It's a 45 tonner. Oh, um, the Grendel with a PPC. Anyways, we took a mass, we took massive amounts of damage um, but we like the only thing we lost was the uh, AC-20 Mirdrin and the uh, the Bushwhacker went down. We lost our prototype double heats or our, our prototype our you know what I mean our our, our proto double heat sink kit. Um, so that went down. So I repaired it and put it in storage for now. We're not going to use it uh, because I was able to get an avatar piece and I was able to put together an avatar. So sitting in our bay, we have a Warhammer and an avatar. Uh, both repaired and ready to go. I just need to add stuff to them. So we got to get some stuff for that. So the Hellbringer was actually performing very poorly during that match. So I thought it would up its up its damage potential a slight bit. The two AC uh, LBX 10s um, that it had um, and the medium laser was okay. Uh, it landed a, f a few shots, but it just wasn't doing the damage output I wanted it to do, especially for a 65 tonner. So I put a pair of Ultra 5s on it because we were able to pick up a Clan Ultra 5 off of... What was it now? Oh yeah, the Lacerator. I brought the Lacerator forward too. It's actually getting repaired right now. 
So we managed to salvage a, a Clan Ultra 5 off that, and I had a regular Ultra 5, so I put them both on on this. Um, and then I put on an ER, ER medium laser and an LRM uh, 15 with 12 turns of firing. So the damage is up upped a little bit, and even if the damage isn't upped a little bit, um, we have far more shots to actually start landing stuff, because when it, when it would miss, if it missed twice with the ACs, it was completely useless, right? So I'd rather have four shots with a little less damage than two shots with a little higher damage, especially since it was having problems landing. So anyway, that's the uh, that's that one. And then Skull is still running the standard um, fire starter, which is going to go away because I'm going to take this load out and I'm going to put it on the Lacerator. It's 10 tons heavier. It's, it's a 55 ton mech. It's like a Storm Crow. So I'm going to put it on the Lacerator um, and then tweak it a bit make it a little bit more punchy because this thing like late game it's pretty useless like once it's fired its rockets it's pretty useless and it later like you probably notice it in this match we'll get a good shot off and then we're just pew pewing to the end of the match which is not really what I want so we're going to find a better loadout for the uh, for the last raider alright so we're going to move up here uh, who do we got going first Sarge. You actually you know what we're going to do oh shit no um, do we wait I'm just wondering if these guys have got bomb mines. I can't tell because I can't see what they have. Uh, what turn are we at? 22. So this guy's already 23. He's already gone. This guy hasn't gone yet. So you know what? We're just going to reserve this. Let's just hold off. Waiting for the right move. So while we're waiting for the enemy to come up, I want to talk a little bit. I mentioned in the last episode that I've got an idea for my next series. Wow, track. shit, another Nidhogg. Oh shit, you're facing the wrong way. That's not good. Uh, we're going to reserve again. Um, Whatever you so say. the next series I'd like to do is kind of like um, Something I can do. a collaborative series where we can get everybody involved. Anyone that wants to, to uh, be a part of the series can be. So um, the things I'm liking about this series is the way the maps are, like I've set up the maps and everything and the, the strategy and stuff, but what I want to do is kind of do like a full scale tactical map. Um, so we got 20% on you, 50% on you because this guy did not move. So um, let's give it to him then. If he wants it, let's give it to him. Yeah, you got your, you got your AMS going. Um, so what I want to do is I want to do like a battle. Your eyes peeled, Commander. Really? This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Is it? Is it an ideal place for an ambush? What? No. I, I never would have guessed that. Let's get you moving, actually. Let's get, uh, you can't do much to get closer, so let's get over here. So. Um, so yeah, I want to do, um, kind of like a battle series, and it doesn't have to be a long series, right? Um, where we can kind of get the community involved. So everybody will take up certain units and, um, and yep. like, and I want to do it so that we're not like just assigning people, you do this and you do this and you do this. Everyone so can ha kind of have a say in, in, um, uh, what they're doing and what they want to do. Um, and then we come up with a scenario. Um, I think we can punch through. So let's go this route. Apply some damage to this guy if we can. Um, so everyone gets a little bit of say, so everybody's happy with what they're doing. And then we come up with a, some kind of battle. Um, and whether people record their own missions or just give me the results of the missions or what it ends up being, but the whole shape of the battle will change, you know, week by week. Um, and whether we do one episode a week to talk about what happened in the battle or whatever. Like, I don't know what the scenario would be. That would be something I would be open to, to doing. I just like the fighting. I don't like, I don't like, like I'm not really a mastermind of this, like, yeah. scenario-wise and what would be good and what wouldn't be good. Um, but like I said, I'm completely open to, um, All right. Full to anything. So let me know what you think. Do you, do you think we should put together some kind of community fight, um, where everybody kind of shares in the battle? Roger. If you're interested in it, let me know. And then, like, What's up, boss? like, because my thought would be that if if we do do it that way, um, then we can do like um, multiple series where the first series is you know 
we're battling on, on this planet against these people. Then the second series is we're battling on the next planet against the same, you know, same group of people or whatever, right? Ah, oh, you shot that guy on the guy in the back. Damn it. I thought you would have shot around. Did you actually hit her? You did. And of course it had to be a fucking CT hit, because what, what yeah. else would it be? I don't know, do you think you can shoot around? Look it out. 32. Target confirmed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. And then, you know, everyone, like, whether we're all on the same side or on different sides or whatever it would be, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we just have to determine who the players are going to be. Uh, let's not get to where that guy can see you. Let's get over here. Get some speed going. You know, we could assign teams or whatever. Like, it's it's hard to do because it's like... We want to go with the tandem. He's just going to probably shoot it down, so let's just hold off for now. Um, yeah, but that's my thought anyway. And sure, like I, I could keep going with the same... You know, the same idea. Like, I, I, I think I've kind of bitten off a little bit more than I could chew with the number of I units in this. That I've got playing, which is why I'm trying to limit right now the number of units I'm going with. Going turbo. Um, but, um, yeah, so, like, in the future, hopefully, uh, if we if we do get some kind of community thing going... Do I hold off? Wait till we get a little closer. Yeah, targeting on this is going to be an issue. I gotta get better electronics on a thing. Aye, aye. Okay, let's get in this thing. Acknowledged. Let's get in the fight. All right, we got more sensors on here. What do we got? Ostrock. Oh, we got a whole lance down here. Panzer Haubitz 2000 with the howitzer. Sorry, Panzer Haubitz. I think I got that close. Griffin. Trebuchet 8K. Looks like he's pretty pretty down. That's actually not a bad trebuchet with three launchers. Ultra 5, LRM 20, Shadowhawk. That's a pretty good loadout. Uh, there's got... Oh, there's another unit over here. Orion. Sorry, Orion. Gladiator. Phoenix. Ost War. Okay. Alright, so that's not a bad little bit of uh, enemy to fight. Once we get rid of this Nidhog, or Nidhogs, uh, we should be uh, set, I think. Yeah, see ya. Dodge this. Vehicle trash. Okay, that was the easy guy because he didn't move. But yeah, I mean, we—I mean, you could do like, you know, the battle for Luthien or the battle for, uh, um, you know, but the the battle for Tukia, you know, Comstar versus the clans, or, you know, what, what is it? Uh, um, uh, you. So the battle for Luthien was the, uh, um, let's get into, sorry, can't do two things at once here. Uh, we want to be in the trees. Open gives us a better chance to hit. Let's get into here. Yeah. On my way, double time. Yeah. So I believe the battle for Luthien was like Smoke Jaguar and Kurita. Nice, use up them flares so we, everybody else can punch through. So I mean we could come up with a battle like that or we could come up with a fictional scenario. Like it could be like a, uh, it could be like an old time scenario. Like old time. Uh, like an older scenario where it's like rather than going uh, modern mechs, we could go before the clan invasion, you know. Uh, how are we looking here? Pretty good with the tandems. I think this is the one we try and take this guy down. Let's warlord this and go for him. If we could pull this guy down, that'll be brilliant. 
Yeah, block this. Need a little more AMS than that, buddy. Mm-hmm. That'll do. That'll do. All out of short range missiles. That's all right. No, you got more. It's another Nidhog. Maybe we could pick up a second Nidhog after this battle. I think we've got two pieces sitting in storage right now. I'm just looking for the one, the right one. I want to find one with the bomb mines. This uh, HVAC 21 that we have is not bad, but it has to get close what do you need? to really be effective. Um, do I want to have? Yeah, I want you on anti-air. So let's get you over here. This vulture man. The amount of damage you did in the last battle was just insane. The accuracy at range. We could now she's got control. Like Taskmaster's always had control burst, but now she has the ultra fives to play off of. Right? It reduces recoil and everything, so it's like, and it reduces the jam chance. So now I can just unload continuously, and it's two turns. Right? The the uh, control burst lasts for two turns. The reduced jam chance. So. As of yet, as I've been playing this thing, there's those AC, those ACs just haven't jammed. They're just continuously firing. And I got plenty of ammo. I got 40 rounds, so I got enough rounds. Like, is it 40 in total? Or more? I can't remember. Although the last battle, the uh, archer ran out of ammunition for the AC-5s. That's how intense it was against those summoners. And they were on a hill, too. We were actually, when they, when they crested the hill, Commander. we were standing in water because we were pushing the enemy. The enemy had a timber wolf, and I had to push the timber wolf. So um, we were standing in water, and they crested the hill, on it. and it was a fairly high hill, and they were just shooting down on us as we were standing in the water. They just just did a crap ton of damage. It wasn't until we were able to get out of the water and respond that uh, we were able to actually start taking them down. And the only thing that saved us was the rifleman and the vulture, because they had both accurate targeting at, targeting at range. So it was like totally worth it. All right, let's get your speed up. It's not even worth looking at targeting yet. Yeah, 27%. We've only got eight rounds too, right? So you gotta be very careful where you choose them. These quad pods are actually quite nice too, but I've only got four shots in total with both of them. Like, oh, the Thunderbolt, nice. So I picked up a bunch of summoner pieces, so I've got enough, I think, to put together two summoners now. Yep. But for this playthrough, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of up in the air. I don't know what, don't, don't know whether I want to go with those, and just try and stay more with inner sphere mechs in this playthrough. Like we're gonna have a couple of clan like clan mechs, yes. But um, let's get the warlord up on this guy. Let's just pepper him. So I don't mind having a few clan mechs here or there, but I want to try most stay mostly with Inner Sphere since our other playthrough is mostly clan. Or it's pretty much all clan. Waiting on you, all right, buddy. Uh, we got to get you up here fast so we can see some people directly. That's actually not bad. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. See what you got to hit here. Okay, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's warlord this. As long as you got direct line of sight, it's not bad. All right. Um, yes. Tell me what to shoot. I'm about shooting those down, buddy. Got six. Got eighteen of them. Holy crap! We're gonna ignore these guys for now. They, they'll be up in here by the time we engage them, probably. I want to clear the left side of this map first. Uh huh. That AMS going. Oh yeah, I did manage to pick up a, a ton of normal AMS ammo. So I swapped out the HE ammo that we had on the uh, on the um, longbow with the regular ammo. Just because the high explosive ammo has a, a, a higher chance to uh, explode. I think I put case two on this. Can't remember. It's either case or case two. Oh yeah, the other thing we lost off the summoner was the, uh, right mm -hmm. was the, um, crap, what was I going to say? Oh, the heavy pharaoh got destroyed off the summoner. Or the hellbringer, sorry. We 
got two back here? Thunderbolt. LRM carrier. Shit, that guy's got to go. He knows I suck. He's got to go. Our oh, we didn't get our stability back. I ran. Okay. Uh, rocket packs, bomb racks, snub nose PPC. So I do have a. I picked up a snub nose PPC as well. So I've got one of those in storage. I'll give it to him, man. Saving that for one of the newer builds. Because we need weapons for the newer builds. Waiting for orders. The loss of that AC twenty, the the Merdran, was. I mean. It was bad and it wasn't bad because I do have a pair of regular AC-20s and I did pick up in, in one of the uh, loot drops in an offline play another ton of precision ammo. So I've got precision, I've got AP, and i got standard ammo. So if we do want to run an AC-20 again, I'm able to do that. I've got an LBX-20, but I don't have any ammo for it. I like the fact that the regular ACs have a, a wide variety of ammo. I'm here. So being able to pick and choose what you want to use is really good. Let's go like this. Roger. Got our stability back here. And who are we going for? Probably this guy. Let's clear this. Well, it's a lousy chance to hit. Not bad. Still the best on that guy though. Locust. No, let's go after this guy. Standard ammo. I'm taking this shot. Don't really want any parts off this off this Ostrox. Hope we destroy it. I don't care. I think we want parts of the Orion though. I'd like to put an Orion into battle. So I think we're gonna over try and once he's out of the water, we'll try and overheat him. Thanks for showing up. You are walking into a up, hell of a lot of damage, buddy. Position Let's get confirmed. to a position where we're not going to shoot our own guys in the back, because you know how good I'm, I am at doing that. Uh, we'll save the tandems. Let's just fire. Don't run away. He's working as an out. His his that his uh, night job is working at his at an LRM boat. Internal damage. I'm showing minor damage. He's working as a LRM boat part time. Going as fast as I can. All right, that's not bad. I guess we'll take the shot. Fifty percent. All right. Oh, nice. That looked like a critical hit. Yeah, so this thing was the thing that basically gave us the mad, secured us a mad cat kill. Uh, or sorry, the timber wolf kill in the last, uh, yep. uh, in the offline play because what ended up happening was I was able to get it around behind the timber wolf because it has a half decent speed. Fast. And I had a very low chance, like 27, I think, percent chance to hit the, uh, the timber wolf. And, uh, I took the shot and hit it in the back CT, um, as well as using the, uh, whatever they were, the, uh, the, uh, missiles. And, um, knocked it down. And then, uh, I used the, uh, the fire starter here with all the tandem ammo, basically cored it. It wasn't dead completely, but it had, like, nothing left in the Mostly CT. So I, I was able to kill it, there, like, almost completely at one turn. I got so lucky too, because that was like the like by the time I was able to start shooting it, it was the turn that the uh, the guy showed up on top of the hill. I just walk it over I'll here, copy. save a little bit of heat. Don't miss. Show me your war face. Yeah, show me your war face. Beautiful. Oh, the fire control system multi-track. We had that in the Vulture. Um, that got destroyed too, along with the, along with the prototype double heatsink, which I was able to, able to replace. But I didn't have a multi-track. But what I did have was I removed the gunnery, uh, targeting computer component, and put in uh, extreme range and long range, targeting computer components. Because the Vulture was basically 
standing back the whole fight and shooting from range. It's ridiculously accurate at range. Okay, there's the leader that we gotta kill. Is it? No. Grasshopper. Mjolnir. It's a Mjolnir. Don't worry, kiddo. You're going for a left flank run. What can I do for you? Uh, where can we put you? Just get up here. Pedal to the metal. Look at this thing. Um. Wow. Indirect is garbage on this thing. Just for now. Shit. That was a nasty hit. Mortar carrier. Fuck me. Well, we know where our, where all of the LRMs are going. Standing by. It should end up being a really good match. Where are you? Do we take the heat? Ah, fuck. I already used my Warlord. Yeah. Watch those heat levels. That guy's got to go, and he's got to go now. Gonna send the hit the Nidhog against the LRM carrier up on the hill. We're slightly out of position here too, and I'm not liking that. Um, yeah. What can I do you for? Let's spread out. Speed the cake. Start to spread out a little bit here. Can we drop the LRMs on this guy? Wow, 1.9, huh? Okay. Commander. We gotta take the hill where that Thunderbolt is. Did I have a line of sight? I did. That's on the LRM carrier. That's where we're going. On my way. Double time. That's where we're going. Right here. Ah, it's only large laser though. Fuck. That's all right. Yeah. Do I burn this locust? Can't get a side shot on him, eh? Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Alright, get a side shot. Let's burn this locust. If we can. It'll save everybody else having to shoot for him. I don't know if we'll get him or not, but... Here you go. Oh, you got an AMS, too. Now nah, we didn't get him. Certainly did a lot of damage, though. Oh, now I'm just tearing you Oh, you didn't shoot any of them down. SRMs are gone. Okay, who's up? Waiting on you, Commander. I got a mortar carrier I need you to take care of for me. Do you think you can handle that? Thanks. I know the chances to hit are going to be garbage, but I think it... Oh, we're out of range. Really? Uh...
Yeah. Who do we want to go after here? Gladiator. We want the Orion pieces. So, I mean, we could drop minefields over here. But I think... Probably down in here. Because these guys all have to move through this area to get to me. I mean, these these guys don't. I don't know. They are clustered over here, though. What if we do... This. Because uh -huh. they've all got to walk through that way. And that way, we're laying down a minefield in front of them. Makes it thicker. They have to walk through more hexes with mines that way. So, we got a few more turns of firing for that, so we'll, we can go ahead and do that. Yeah. I want you against that LRM carrier if you can see it. Can you? You can. It's putting you more, more and more out of position, though. I don't like that. We're get, our positioning is getting worse and worse, but if we can take care of some of these guys at range, we're going to go ahead and do that. Take this. Okay, a couple of AC hits. We've still got Tiger Tail to go yet, so... Oh, what are you doing? Oh shit, there's deep water there! I didn't see it from the angle I was looking at, or maybe I just... was oblivious, but there's deep water here. Right here. So they can't go through that. They have to go around this way. So I put the minefield in the wrong spot. Waiting for orders. Who says I'm not observant? I'm only observant after the fact, that's the problem. Let's get over here. Alright, you got about one more shot before we gotta like cool off a bit here. Oh, we're we're okay. Uh let's warlord this. Let's hope we get a shot on this guy and finish him, but I don't know if we I don't know if we will or not. Roger that. Ooh. Not dead though. Oh crap. So close. Yeah, she was so ridiculously accurate in some of the battles that I was playing with a low percentage chance to hit. But I think I was trying to be very conscious of watching and seeing if I was just being um, biased. And I think I am a little biased. Beautiful. One problem solved. Enemy mover down. Nice. Because there was there was times when there was like low chances to hit, and of course she never hit at all, right? So. Reporting light damage. This battle would be totally different if these guys were all like up in the hill and stuff. But as it goes right now, we're going to take this hill, and then we're going to have the high high ground, and then it'll be over. We're going to take this high ground up here, and it'll be over. Yeah, so I'm really interested in... Let me know what you guys think about that idea of uh, doing mini-series, right? Where the community's involved. I like to get you guys involved. You guys have always had great ideas and good suggestions, so I thought maybe if we kind of do a series that's like that, where we kind of do like a community thing, it might kind of be cool. Uh, let's take a... well... Uh, what's our LRM chance on this uh, mortar carrier? 15% we're t uh, we'll take that. It seems silly to Warlord, but I want as many missiles on this thing as I can. It's gotta go. It's gotta go now. I can't having it overheat us at the worst possible times. Well, hopefully he'll target the summoner. The summoner's got pretty good heat sinking. I think it's got a double heat sink kit, but it's only using like 48 of the heat or something like that because of the coolness of the ACs. Who's up here? 23. Oh, the Locust. Probably trying to figure out how he's going to save his bacon. 
Where's the place I can go that I'm not gonna die? Hint, nowhere. He's panicking. You should be. I'm here. You got a 45 ton fire starter coming after you. I'm gonna walk it and On drop some way. heat here. I think that heat lasts for two turns, so I gotta be very careful here. Nope, it doesn't. Terrible chances to hit, but we gotta do it, so. What's it like with standard ammo? Still the same. Alright, incendiary's fine. Receiving you. Can't wait for you guys to see what I did with those pirate AC5s in the other playthrough. <laughs> I think the mech works fine. You'll you'll see it when you when you when I when uh probably tomorrow I'll probably have that one up. I'll probably play the uh the night gaunt's the next mission. Yeah, we're like our riflemen and vulture are in horrible positions. You jump around back there, guys. What do you need? Yeah. I don't know. Can I get up over there? Ah, uh, I think we go back this way. I don't know if I can get up over there. I really want to take the chance, and at least if I'm back in this direction, if the enemy decides to push, we're in a position where we can, like, at least reply. Ready for Same with Tiger Tail. We'll go back this way. Full speed. Sounds good, uh-huh. We gotta drop heat anyway. Alright, so... Commander. Hunter killer. Keska save. Confirmed. I think we're gonna leave our tandems off. We've only got, like, we've got very limited ammo for these MRMs, so... 55, let's warlord this. If we land the X-Pulse, it should probably be good. Yeah, pretty good. Scored a critical hit. Mm. You just keep hunting that guy. Oh, okay, he went through the minefield. I saw some damage. So we're gonna land the minefield on the Orion. You've got nothing. You hear me? I hear you. You tell him, Ice House. You tell him how much he has. Let's show him how much he has. Two Thunder 60s over there so far. We got two more to go, too. I don't know. There's so suggestions about Halop the Halopolis, too, right? About not pulling it out of service, but maybe swapping it up, putting a Goss rifle on it. I think that's a great idea. I gotta get Goss ammo, though. That's the thing I don't have is Goss ammo. Ah, shit, you can't turn enough to do it. That's a pretty damn good chance to hit, though. Yeah, so we got to look for Goss ammo. I could have chose a double load out of the last mission. Um, but I chose against it. I chose summoner parts. The offline playthrough. Uh, I can't believe you missed with that HVAC. Okay, he took some damage to the legs. This Trev is just slowly recovering from the heat. Hopefully that mortar carrier doesn't fire off more Inferno. Yes. Come here and die. So you got a Goss rifle. So we should, if we work on the Mjolnir, pull its legs off, we should be able to get Goss ammo. Actually, I don't think the Goss ammo is in the legs. So I've been noticing, uh, here's a here's something I want you guys to comment on. So I've been noticing, and like I've been watching other people play, um, just to see how they're doing their loadouts and stuff. And people have been dropping ammo in, oh that hurt. People have been dropping ammo into the legs. But Case doesn't protect in the legs, does it? Case is only torso, I, I thought. So if you're using Case, like if you're using Clan Pharaoh, 
and you put ammo in the legs and the ammo goes off, it still blows your leg completely off and transfers the damage to the torso. But if you've got at least if you've got it in the torso and you've got it cased, then it doesn't transfer to the center torso. Am I correct? Let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, I, I couldn't understand why you would want to put ammo in the leg when it's not protected. A thunderbolt. Just looking to get some back strikes on it. Well, let's oblige him. Moving out. He wants to play the game that way. We can show him how the game's played. What's up, buddy? I know I'm forgetting about the mortar carrier with the LRM here, but can't not take this shot. I'm getting pummeled. Hey, relax, you're fine. You're not going to be in combat for much longer anyway. The Nidhogg's got limited value. Even though it's got that big uh, weapon and it's got a little bit of armor on it, it gets targeted targeted a fair bit. So, um, mm -hmm. you can't I'm keep going. it in battle for a long period of time. It's just designed to go in, strike, and then leave. Guess I'll give it to him. See ya. That there's a kill. Orders. So the the fire starter works great as a light hunt, like a light mech hunter killer. Ah, oh, crap! We can't see that guy. Really? All right, move this way. Roger. I guess so. We're down. Well, one more turn, we'll be able to get up a little higher. Um. And it's got half decent movement, but the storm crow's got a movement of six nine. I was really shocked to see that. So I'm going to be happy when that get, when that thing gets into uh, to service because we'll be able to hunt light max down with that thing too. I was hoping to find a few more uh, medium X pulses because a storm crow with four medium X pulses would be a nightmare. I think it's like a beautiful like hunter killer. Let's back up. Let's move. Make their sensors work to get you. And yep. Not doing a lot of damage, but slowly getting there. Yep. These trebs are a weak point. The, when, when I replace the when I play, replace Max with the uh, the Warhammer and the Avatar, it's these two that are going. We're gonna I'm gonna try and transfer over the loadouts to those Mechs because both those yep. Mechs are Omnis. Let's go. Um, and have plenty of hard points, so I should be able to transfer everything over. Actually, I should check to see if the MRMs can hit. They can. I don't, I don't like using Warlord unless I'm, I know most of my weapons are going to be able to hit. It seems like a waste. Ooh, nice. You know, unless you, um... Unless you're trying to take somebody's leg off or whatever, you're better yeah, off saving on, it. Alright, so how are we doing for armor here? Pretty good. So I think we got a little bit more... Taking a lot of turret damage, though. Can we get... It's going to put her, put her in a precarious situation, but we can get away the following turn. We should have five chevrons of evasion here, I think. At least five. Yeah, we got five, so that's pretty good. Can we get this mortar carrier? Not with the HVAC. We might be able to get this carrier though, LRM carrier. We've only got one quad missile pod shot left. How much armor does this thing have? It's chunky. Let's save this. Because it's not going to get a kill shot here, even if I use those. Yeah, I miss. I love the, 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 uh, the ammo shell dropping out. Beautiful. We're gonna fly up over here next turn. Get out of the uh, 
Get out of the way here. Yep. All right, let's see if we can finally get you into the action here. Oh, I could go and shoot that guy from over there, but we're going to move up here because I need to get out. back into the... Uh, back in the midst of things and use some of her armor. I mean, look at that. Like, this thing is brutal. Brutal! Control burst whenever I can to lower the recoil. Come on. Go after the weaker of the two legs. I don't get a very good, uh... Like, even with the, the um... Even with the uh, targeting computer and all the, the bonuses to the called shot location, I still find that even when I'm called doing using called shot, most of the time I'm not hitting you. the location I want. So, it's a bit of an issue. Let's back you up. Betcha. Affirmative. Get those mines over there. Like he's lost a bunch of armor already. So he's taking a bit of damage. Eight landmines, even right there. I have no idea how many that guy took, though. Ow. Shit. I got plenty of ER lasers, so I'm not that worried. Yeah, I said it before, I'll say it again. Ah, oh, fuck you. I'll say it before I say it again. The stuff I have in this playthrough, I desperately need on the uh, Night Gods playthrough. And the stuff I have in the Night Gods playthrough, I desperately need on this playthrough. It's just... Ah, uh, it's frustrating. That is the one thing I gotta say about playing two different uh, series at the same time. And they're supposed to be on the same side as I can't share gear. Which really sucks, but... Ooh, see ya! I'm just going to leave that up to a quartermaster issue. It's like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the film Zulu. I'm sure I'm sure you probably have. But if you haven't watched the film Zulu, it's a, it's a pretty good film. It's actually relatively historically accurate. Um, and it was praised for being such. Uh, but um, I believe it was the Battle of San Juana. The, the quartermasters were like trying to give out ammunition in an orderly fashion. And all the ammo crates were all nailed shut, so it was taking them a long time to get into the ammo. So wait, that's the right side. We gotta make sure our left side is turned towards the enemy. Kind of. Like this. Um, so yeah, in the battle, I mean, the British just got slaughtered, right? Um, fire at these guys. Firing. But yeah, it's kind of... That's that's the the situation that I think my my uh, my team is in right now is the quartermasters for each unit are just arguing. Oh, fuck. Shit. Really. That's a bad time. Aye, aye. Well, we we took the chance. We took the chance. I want you up here though. No shooting, just running. Got it. D to, to deter anybody that decides to come up here with an MRM-40 to the face. Okay, I gotta check that Orion's legs out here in a second. Yeah, the AMS is already out of ammo. We need way more ammo on that thing. Ha! Send me a real opponent! So yeah, I mean, not bad. <laughs> not bad. We got one more turn of, yeah. of uh, fire, so... Get you up here. Understood. So pee this guy. Let's go after this leg this time. Gonna overheat because we've already taken yeah. Let's leave one of those off. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, we're coming for you, buddy. Receiving you. Pick up 
Repair our bases. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah, she's definitely enjoying not being in that Hetzer. I gotta say. Still don't like this guy, eh? Armor holding. Alright, I think we gotta blow through the right side here now. We're gonna wheel right. Blow through the right side. Because we can't push the main group until that right side's gone. You keep walking through those landmines, you'll eventually die. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright. Let's get commander. over here. Moving out. Drop our last last little bit of uh thunder on this guy here. We'll get what we get. At least the Oz War has got to come through that area to get to the, up to the front line. Then next turn, this Gladiator is going to get a full LRM-60 er, uh, Artemis 4 strike to the face. Oh, you want the MRMs. Okay. You can have them. Bad one, I think. That mech's going down this match. Fuck. That hit something important. Okay, you need to back the fuck off. Right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, where do I want you shooting from? I think we need you back this way. Stick together. You don't have enough firepower to be roaming around on your own, so let's get back over here. Yeah, he asked for it, so uh, can you just give it to him? He was just wondering if he had, if you have something for him. You do? Okay, great. Just give it to him. There you go. Target eliminated. Can't say he didn't ask for it though. Aye, aye. Uh, how how are we looking here? Fifty, seventeen. And yeah, let's vigilance, so we can get our sprint on. We can't even turn our back because we fucking lost our back armor. Wait, so that's our left side. Where's our AC? Right there. So we're okay losing the right side. I mean, I'm not really okay losing any side, but still, I would rather... If I had to lose a side, I would lose the right side, I think. Where's that fucking mortar carrier? Right there. Copy that. I think I got it. I hope I wasn't targeting the head, sir. Nope. There we go. Perfect. Fuck it. Just do it. Might be your last shot anyway. Beautiful. Now you can retreat. Enemy vehicle destroyed. My heat sinks can't take much more of this. Yeah, I know. You're gonna be retreating anyway. Oh, hey. Buddy's coming up. Wants a whole face of fuck you, so we're gonna want to give him yep. to give that to him. On it. He was just wondering if he's in the right place for a uh, for an alpha strike, and I'm sure he is. Fire. Nice, got past the armor. Yeah, I am definitely loving the load. Oh yeah, the other thing too is I was able to swap out the uh, regular ER large for clan ER large in the center torso. Dropped another prototype double heat sink in. Yeah. Still pretty much able to sink all the heat on it too, which is nice. Let's get you into here. Consider it done. That Panzer Habitsa I'm not worried about for one turn. We're gonna kill this guy. He's coming up this way, so we should be able to just uh we should be able to target him once he gets into to range in here with direct fire weapons, so I 
I feel sad for that guy. Only because he was supposed to take... Oh, oh, you can take it. That's fine. He was supposed to take the Artemis LRM-60 strike, but we'll give it to that guy over there. It's barely hit, Commander. I hear you. We still got our rifleman to go, so... We're going to give this to the uh, guy up on the hill. Oh, it's a trebuchet. It's only 37%, but we'll crank it up a little bit here with Warlord. Here you go. Got it. From me to you. That ain't gonna save you. That ain't gonna save you. Where are you? <laughs> it's almost got no armor left. Okay, beautiful. Slowly working. At least now we know yes, we can go I after um, mechs that we want to target and to get gear off of. Freaking big trail of smoke trailing behind her. How are we doing heat? A little warm. Let's just go with these three. Wow, really? I missed with two? See what I mean? Like, I was biased. Like, those low percentage chance to hit, I was hitting a lot of them. Or it seemed like a lot, and then I get these high percentage that I missed, so it's like... It equals itself out. You got a PPC. Or a light PPC, or a snub, or something. That lost more, man. Okay, he's in an internal structure in his legs now. No. Nope. Looked like it was. I saw some orange there, so I thought for sure it was. Good to go. Alright, buddy. Uh let's clear up the left or the sorry, the right. You know what side I mean. This side. The opposite side from what I said. Yeah, it still feels underpowered for 65 tons. Let's just back Position up over confirmed. here. Should be able to sink that heat now. How hot is the meal near? I have no way of... No, it's not hot at all. I wonder if he's going to crest that hill, though. Could go after the LRMs there. Two Thunderbolt 4s, which I think have used up their shots. Mine dispenser and LRM 15. Now, uh, maybe it's the, the Mjolnir? You know what? I think we're just going to brace here. Let's just drop the heat. Standing by. We're not in a desperate situation where we absolutely have to do that, so... Let's get you... Here. Roger. Because this guy has not received enough glory yet. Let's give him a little bit more, a little bit more glory to worry about here. What's up, buddy? Roger. John. John, stick your head out, John. One shot, I'll take it clean off. I don't know if you guys see that. I'm sure you have seen the movie Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's the uh, the last battle scene. What do you need? With the uh, the main well, I don't know if you call him the main bad guy, but the the bad guy. Let's move. They're fighting down in the tunnels. I can't remember the name of the bad guy now, though. Schwarzenegger goes, ah, well Bennett, that was it, Bennett. Knives, or sorry, guns are too easy. You want to stick your knife in me and turn it and watch my face, watch my face as you turn it. That's right, John. I don't need a gun. I'll kill you, John. <laughs> he comes out with a knife and then gets wrecked. It's like, yeah, you got you you bought into a lie, buddy. Yeah. You bought into the lie. Roger that. Ah, those old films, man. They're totally unbelievable, but, but totally hilarious. 
my wife and I were talking about suspension of disbelief in modern films now, and um, um, yeah, this is fire. fire and why it's harder for films today to uh, to uh, pass the believability test, I guess. And I think it's just because people are way more discerning. Like back in the '80s, when we were watching, like as a teenager, watching films in the '80s, it's like. You could you buy into anything back then because it was just all h hilarious and cool. But I, I guess people are just so I don't say knowledgeable, but a little bit more in the know nowadays that you, you can't get away with those films in the '80s like you can't like like today. You there's no way, no way you'd be able to do it without people like criticizing. All right, we want parts off this guy. I think hopefully. So let's go after this leg with a pair of ACs. Or we could completely destroy the mech. That works too. I didn't even think I was going to hit the... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Is that all you've got? That's all he's got. What can I do for you? Let's see what your chance on that Panzer Habitsa is, but if not, we're going to take this guy here. Yeah, it's pretty low. Just take this guy. Wow, he took a fair amount of damage coming through those mines. It's a lot more than I thought it would have been. But he did take his time, though, so... There's more where that came from. I wish this, um... Longbow is a little faster. It'd be nice to set up the uh, instability and then have our two long range guys take their legs off. Once the enemy becomes unstable, that was probably the headser. You're still gonna stay in the fight, are you? Still gonna hang in there? I got more AC5s for you if you want them. No, nope, he's running. He turned his wrong side to us, though. Ready for order. Uh, yeah. Skull, what do you think? You can hunter kill that guy? Ooh, that's a pretty bad position to be in for a back shot, though. So that's not too bad right there. Yep. Just in case this Mjolnir decides to come up and take a shot. It's hitting the side as opposed to the back. Uh, let's go this route. And I gotta throw the barrage on, because if, for whatever reason, we don't kill him, then hopefully the barrage will take him out if he runs away, if we hit him with it. No! Did we hit him with it? I think we did. So we'll leave him alone. He can, he can absorb the barrage. Uh, can we get away from these flames? Oh, we're standing in them. Okay, that's fine. We are standing in the flames. Can we see that Panzer Halbitza get around here? Full speed it is. I don't know what this guy's armor is like. Ah, not that great. Let's open up on him. Wow, terrible. Enough for a kill, though. Vehicle crash. Popped him like a zit. I love that sound though. Yeah. Just a matter of cleanup at this point in time. Look at the chance to hit though. Let's get rid of this guy. Acknowledge. I want to just focus on those last two. Scored a so both the Phoenix and the uh is that a sword? The other guy was a swordsman? Who's the other guy? Over here? Gladiator. Oh, no, never mind. Good to go. I was going to say we started off with both those mechs and, uh... Let's get to... There. Move into position. We started off with those mechs and, um... The backyard hooligans. But we didn't... Go with that. 
Let's just see if we can get it. Firing on nope. Scored a critical hit. I should have just shredded him. Oh well. You keep running back there, buddy. You keep that running. Minimal damage on that. Hit. Keep firing that garbage ammo. I'd be interested to see if he lost. I should just see if he loses his own legs. We should just leave him alone and see if he loses the legs. Affirmative. There's a chance he could just lose the legs. Fuck this guy. Engaging. Enemy down. Don't want to shoot that mule near unless I have to. Because if he decides to bug out, I don't know where his bug out zone is, so. Oh, you're up, are you? You're up. Do they think they can hurt me? Standing by. I'm assuming they think they can hurt you. Yeah, we don't got a problem with heat now. Goss and a PPC. So his thunderbolts are now out for sure. Okay, I'm on it. Nice. I like to say I got past the armor, but I didn't. Okay. So that laser AMS on that uh, vulture. It really doesn't spike the heat too much. I'm kind of pleased with that. If it was on over overload, it would obviously be a diff different story, but... I'm hoping the barrage kills that guy. I'm going to leave him and find out. That's the head, sir. I think the 9K is far enough back now, I don't have to worry about it. Why do I open my mouth? I know better than that to say shit like that and then I go open my mouth. Because we all know how, how often when I do say things like that, it just the opposite absolutely happens. Alright, let's just fire on this guy. Roger that. Firing on target. Yeah, the heat from this thing is pretty manageable, I gotta say. Yeah. Even when I'm firing everything. It's pretty manageable. Orders. Okay, we should be able to finish this guy up now. Let's just give it to him then. Yep. I, I know I've said it in the past, I'm going to say it again. I really feel that Rogue Tech has really balanced itself out now. I mean, you can see, ooh, we can get a shot at the Mjolnir. We want to do that, though. No, I think we go after, um... I think we move over here and we go after that, uh... Orion. I know I said I was going to see if I can wait to... see if we could take his legs with the mines, but... I think we're in a safe enough position now that even if we do plink other stuff, that uh, we shouldn't kill him. Ah, crap. Yep. Move over here. You should be able to pull a leg. Sixty-two, huh? That's a little much, I think, for that. Let's just go with these two. Attacking from the there we go. Oh yeah. Leg hit. Tag on. Right here. Mm-hmm. What do I want you for now? Our tandems are jammed. Get up over here. Want to get closer to that meal there? Because if we have to, what we'll do is we'll rush it. Commander. Get within the minimum range of that PPC and the. Uh... Now, nah, who do we shoot for? 
I go after that Mjolnir? Not yet. Oh, that's no good. That's all right. Heading out. Um, yeah, we get within minimum range of the PPC and Gauss rifle to minimum minimize the chance of him hitting us. Uh, let's just fire the, the uh, missiles. I gotta find better bolt-on gear for this guy. Right now, I've got the uh, the triple t the triple tandem launcher and a UAV. UAV uses your turn, Holding firm. so I can't fire, which is okay. Like aye if aye. I'm in a city fight, it's not so bad because then if I'm behind a building, I can still at least do something. I right, just fire on this guy. Get our warlord off. Hopefully, we can do some good damage. Acknowledged. But other than that, like I can't really do much. So it just sits there. It's like just using a slot for like for nothing. Ooh, there goes one leg. That's the one I damaged. Should be able to finish him up this next turn. How much did the other leg take? Oh, it took 12 points. So not that bad. You only move one hex though. So 12 points for one hex is actually what pretty damn good. Let's work on the headset. Um, we have we've got Sam, Deadfire, Chaff. we got lots of ammo. Let's just go this route. Um, yeah, let's warlord it. Get as many hits on the Hetzer if we can. If we can remove the Hetzer, that'd be nice. He's got weak front armor, so... Oh, looks like we penned a little bit. Come on. Nope. Not today. I'm disappointed that that Nidhogg went down, but... I was really pushing at moving that close. Barely hit, Commander. I just thought it would have been okay because it was, uh... Oh, even my Boltons out of ammo. I thought it would have been okay just because of the evasion it had, but... It got hit by a big shot, so... Ha ha ha! Glorious! It's <laughs> totally worth it! It was totally worth the wait! Ah... Uh, so satisfying. Um... The Mjolnir still hasn't done anything. I don't know whether it's afraid to engage or if it's just tr like tricked out or something or what, but it's waiting for us, I guess. Oh, you want some of this? There we go. Reporting. Enemy vehicle. Down to Order. three. Ready for orders. How's your armor looking? Okay, so that's your left side is damaged, which means I got. That's just not a good time. Still not the best time. Affirmative. But if this guy's just been standing there. You can see what we can do. Damn, the laser, laser missed again. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire. Bring it down. Position Alright, let's get up here. Yeah, we're gonna run out of ammo in this match, too. Taking the shot. There goes the leg. No, not quite. Ooh, okay. Standing by. Okay, we're gonna drop one of incendiary and one standard on this guy. Roger. LRMs are out. No, they're not. Yeah. I made sure you had plenty of LRMs. God, this thing's been useless for the last half of this battle. Uh. I really gotta rethink the loadout on this I for the Stormcrow. Don't think. Or the Don't Lacerator. Think. Just run. I don't know, like... The Tandem Rockets are nice for taking out those heavy vehicles. Especially when you got a speedy mech that can get in there. With a half decent amount of armor. Ow. Fuck. Nice accuracy. Blown past my armor. It's okay, I'm gonna bring the Vulture over there to handle the rest of it. 
Yeah. Vulture's gonna handle the rest of it. You get out of there, buddy. You're not gonna be able to sustain that damage. There's just no way. Vulture should be able to stand it to a couple turns of that. As long as they don't hit, keep it in the same location. Oh yeah, it goes to leg. The rifleman should be able to finish these two out. I hear ya. Let's make this guy unstable. And firing. Special delivery. Not really doing much, is it? Come on, go full speed. Damage out of the leg. Fall over. One point. Light damage, Commander. Oh, we got one of the two. Commander. Affirmative. Get up here. What do you need? Okay, can we get into shooting position? We can. Right here. But. I'm here. Let's do. You first. I want to get our other mech out of there first. I don't shoot him in the back. Because you know damn well it's level what happened. Who's up next? Okay, hold off. Right here. Hold off. Wait, that's 20, okay. Roger that. Standing by. Okay, now this has got 62 left. Let's just go with everything and hope we get it. On it. Oh, we got one shot in the leg. Critical hit, Commander. It's not gonna bail out, All eh? Out now we can get you the hell out of there. Then we can bring Taskmaster up. Like that. Confirmed. Hope we don't get our arm shot off. Oof, look at that, eh? Go after the leg. Aye, aye. Tag on. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's go with uh, some chaff too in here. I want to go with twenty chaff to make sure we get it. Yeah, I think so. Time to die. Get a little bit of sensor scramble. Get you up here. Got plenty of uh, resolve left. So let's go after the leg again. Okay. This guy's doing a great job of keeping himself stable. Long range missile gone. He's probably he's probably one of those pilots that's got reduced like a lot of reduced stability. It's not helping you. Come on, move and lose your leg. We hit it for 55. It's almost gone. That's still okay. Receiving you. Oh, you're up again, are you? Come on. Guy, we're missing that leg a lot. It's got 40% damage reduction. Oh, I forgot you got fire maneuver. Over here. Yeah. Okay, let's reserve you. That might be... Good clincher just in case, right? Receiving you. Uh 
Oh, we have. I forgot I put incendiary ammo in here. I'm an idiot. I mean, you guys already know that. But I'm an idiot. I can't believe I forgot to, that I had incendiary ammo in this thing. Fire. That should do it. Yep, there we go. One left target. Okay. Aye, aye. You still got ammo. Plenty of resolve, so let's just use it. See if we can get some more damage on this leg. It's a good thing he's bulwark though, because the damage reduction is really saving us I'm from listening. completely obliterating this guy. Let's reserve you. Yeah. Did he not go? Oh, he hasn't. Oh, he hasn't had a chance to go yet. I'm gonna move into the trees here, though. Uh, That guy's got a solid shot on me, so let's just keep it turned. Confirmed. I don't like giving him mostly my arm, because I don't want to lose one of the Ultra 5s. Yeah, finally one of the ACs jammed. I'm taking this shot. Damn it, we're, we're going to blow this guy up. I know we are. I'm here. Do we just go after his leg? We can't afford another Goss hit, though. Uh, let's just put you here just in case we need you. I hear you. All right, 30-30. Let's not go too, too crazy. You betcha. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, uh, ammo explosion, fuck me. Really? Should have run when you had the chance. Not bad, huh? Okay, missed the gas rifle, that's the important thing. That impaired sensor isn't going to do much to help yeah. him. All right, now um, can we not. We can get a solid blue line from here. So let's get up here. We should be able to run away next turn, he says, and then gets obliterated probably. Okay, warlord. Offensive push. Going after this leg with everything. Put the barrage on him, because why the hell not? Of course. Can't just go for that leg, huh? I wonder if he's stuck there. Yes, come in. Or thinks that he's stuck there. Move water. Let's give him our face. Just don't hit me in the head with a gauze rifle. Come on, leg shots, please. Alright, there's one leg shot. Fail out. Connection on that one. And steady. Yes, Commander. Okay now. I'm willing to go for it, I think. He's so damaged already. Not go well. One. Come on, bail out. Fucking lost Sorry, the ghost ammo. God hit. damn it! I'm here. It's one thing we wanted. Okay, so we get it. Engaging target. Three, four. There's the leg and the engine. Tango down. Well, we tried. Can't say we didn't try. Successful. 
So the Vulture's got like an additional like 16 to 20 percent called shot bonus uh, and I'm still having problems hitting those called shots I don't know what to do took damage we lost ER medium I hope we didn't lose the Nidhog is there a way to know I guess there's no way to know to the end well I guess if an H hyper velocity Gauss rifle shows up in the uh Two Mjolnir parts. Carrier parts. It's only 60 though. Armor. So there's the Nidhogs that we shot down. Light AC-10, pair of MRMs. Snubnose PPC, two rocket packs. and See, these things aren't too, too overpowered. The armor's nice, but I mean, they've got that limited punch, so it's really just flying in, doing a bit of damage, and then flying out again, you know? So they had two with Snubnose PPCs, so we could grab a Snubnose version. I think I want to grab the Orion piece, though. i going to throw that in, because I think we've got other Orion pieces that we can put together one. Ostrock, full Ostrock, two Ost War pieces, Panzer Hibitze, 8K. Um, arrow one shot for one ton. There's the G regular Gauss rifle. Light AC-10. So I don't think... Or mine dispenser 15. Mortar 8. Yeah, see, you know, I would... <laughs> if I could, I'd take two of these and send it over to the... Uh, to the static defense unit. Those Yerbys could definitely use it. We've already got MRM-10s. I don't need those. Snub those PPCs. That's an option. We've got one. Like, we could do a... Because it's only 30 heat... We could do the uh, Avatar build with a triple Snubnose PPC build. Let's put two of those in there for now and see. Because we can definitely sink 90 heat. Anything more than that, like the ER PPCs are hard to sink. Multi-track. Yeah, I think as far as a fire control system goes, I would only use this if it was part of a targeting computer. So it was an additional component. Unless you have like a really awesome pilot and a lot of other targeting stuff, this just seems like it's a waste. It'd be nice for a cleanup mech, you know, mechs that are just like gonna shoot people randomly. Heavy Pharaoh. We lost our Heavy Pharaoh, but we don't need it right now. Although we are low on double heatsink kits. I think I just used my last one, so let's grab that. Because I, I think without that we can't even put the Avatar or the Warhammer together. I don't think we have any double heatsink kits at all. Um, uh, how many standard heat sinks do we have here? We've got 10, so we're okay with heat sinks. Uh, what else we have down here? Do we have any Gauss ammo? I don't think so. We destroyed the Gauss ammo. MRM improved ammo, though. That does open up an option because we have three. MRM 20s right now and I was thinking about doing like a uh, like dual laser dual L MRM 20 on the um, on the Warhammer so an MRM 20 in each shoulder and then like an ER laser in each arm or something or some kind of laser originally I thought it would be a snub nose PPC but I think we can do a triple snub piece PPC built in the avatar let's just grab this uh, we do have like incendiary ammo, I think. We don't. We don't have Apollo either. We're very limited. Like, ah, man, ammo is, once again, it's like one of the things that we don't have a lot of for certain things. And I hate, like, it's weird. I hate taking ammo. There should, you know what? I wish there was. Let's, let's just confirm this and we'll talk afterwards. So we got the two grass. <laughs> we got the meal near parts. That's awesome. Griffin, Hex, Hetzer part. Which means we can put our Hetzer back together. Because I think we have two Hetzer parts already. Locust can go. Mortar Carrier. That's an interesting... Three Mortar 8s. I think we've got Carrier pieces at 60 tons. That might be an, a really good option. The two Trebuchet pieces, which is really nice. Regular LRM-20 we'll hang on to. Pair of LRM-5s. We can just get rid of those. MRM-10s. Okay, nice. Excuse me. It's dry up here again today. Can get rid of both the Endosteels. The 180 core... 
Uh, I'm going to hold on to it right now, and the reason being... Oh, got the Heavy Pharaoh, nice. Is I think I want to put together a couple light mechs for scouting. So I don't have any light engines right now, so I'm going to make sure I hold on to a couple of them. Apollo ammo, which is not bad. Okay, so that's all right. That's actually... The roll we got for this was actually pretty good. So what I was saying was, what would be really cool and interesting is if in the store... There was a little button for requisition. So the store has got limited stuff. Like this planet that I'm on is actually a manufacturing world. So we've got a bunch of, plus I'm, I'm, I'm on a uh, Draconis Combine world and I'm, I come, I come, I'm already like got a massive rep with them right now. Honored rep, faction rep 100%. So we, I get half decent deals in the stores. So there's a bunch of stuff here that, you know, um, is available to me but what would be nice is if there was like a little requisition button right so this as far as i know generates relatively randomly when you spawn into a world or when you jump into the planet that is so it's a random gen but what there should be is a like a little requisition button you can click on and then it would say would you like to requisition like ammo energy weapons ballistic weapons whatever and then you can pay like you know, 50,000, 100,000, or 250,000. And then you pay out X amount of dollars, and then it respawns the the store. Uh, and you can only do it once a month or something, but it would respawn the store, or when the month clicks over, um, it gives a greater chance for having one of those items, whichever one you've chose, gives a greater chance for that item to show up in here. So for instance, rather there being like, you know, five cores, there might only be two cores and then three more things of ammo. You know what I mean? Like, so if you, like if you clicked on ammo 250, then some of the rare forms of ammo would show up in here. So at least you have a better chance of finding the ammo you want in the store. But that's just a thought. Like, you know, I don't know. Because like right now, like LRM 10s, medium laser machine, like this is great if you're starting out, but if like right now like the store is pretty much garbage for me like, like on occasion i'll find things like the double ac20 m1 i've already bought two of these right um because it's unlimited so i bought two of these so i'd have them for the future if i needed them um so i do buy the ammo when i see it but i, I rarely ever see anything of any value and i've never seen i've yet to see goss ammo in here so it's it's just a bit of a pain anyway uh mech me real quick before we go here so let's just have a look here so we got some repairs to do. So the avatar is basically back up. So we could do, because this is an Omni mech, we could do the triple snub PPC build, right? So like I got an LBX 20 with no ammo, mag shot cannon with no ammo, mag shot, I, I got, sorry, I have a half a ton of ammo, which is like, would be only five turns of shooting for this. Gosh Rifle Clan with no ammo. So we could do like a triple snub PPC build on this, right? Because I would easily be able to... It already comes... Sorry, it's got a double heatsink kit already installed. I'd easily be able to sink that heat. What's the range on these? 780 meters. Yeah, all we need is some good targeting computers. You know? Go with the three snubs. I thought about going a dual ER PPC on the Warhammer, but then I thought we've got those MRMs that we're not using either, and dual PPC is not, not not bad. But we've already got a lot of mechs that stand back and fight. I want to get a few that can get in and brawl, which is what this would be, right? We would get in and brawl with it. I mean, I guess the other thing too is I could start looking for SRMs. I've been kind of like not worrying too much about them, but we got an SRM4 Valiant Clan SRM6. We could start putting some SRMs in here too. For close range fighting. Well, we got four MRM 10s and two MRM 20s. I'm liking these a little better than the SRMs only because of the range. Like being able to stay at 540 meters and knife fight is better than staying at 360 meters and knife fighting because then you introduce a whole bunch of weapons that the enemy can get on you. You know, medium lasers and like standard medium lasers and uh, you know, AC 20 and things like that. I'd rather stay at the distance, you know. Um, yeah, but I mean, we got about lar one large pulse laser, some medium pulses. I mean, we could go with an intense medium pulse laser build on the uh, 
Stormcrow when it's back. That's the other thing. Rather than going with rockets, going with the medium pulses so we don't have to run out of ammo. That's a possibility. Now we got to sink all the heat, though. That's the other thing. So, I mean... Yeah. What's the speed of this? Like 4.8? 4.6. Sorry. Yeah, 4.6. So that's not a bad option for that guy. And then if we go with the uh, Warhammer build here... I'd have to get some more lasers for this. Let's get in here real quick. The problem with this guy is it's got an inner sphere. I think both of these have the inner sphere XLs. Which is an issue because we lose the side, we lose the mech, right? So it's got an LRM-20 Zeus in here, which I would take out, I think. So this is 4.6 as well, speed. But then we could go... I mean, we could use the two LV axes. Like, we could take this out. Well, no, we wouldn't have to wait. Not having cluster ammo for additional accuracy is a big deal too, right? Because the LBX is paired nicely with the uh, MRMs. We just don't have to wait for it. Yeah, we don't have enough for ammo and stuff. But the pair of MRM-20s with... We're slowly gaining... ATM stuff too. I got a bunch of ammo. Kind of getting there. I want to get an ATM build going at some point, but getting stuff for it is going to be an issue. So we've only got one clan ER. We could go with regular ER la lasers and keep the heat down. That was probably a better idea. All right, we don't have a heat sink kit in here yet either. So we got a clan XL. We got clan XLs that I need to put in. So we got a radical prototype double heat sink kit still. Which we might use on the avatar. If we go with a regular double heatsink kit here, 103 heat, eh? Those MRMs are hot. Heat bank. Uh, what else? Anyway, I'll have to play around. I like to know what you guys think, though. Like, we've almost synced the heat there. Um, and we go with ammo. We need enough to stay in the fight for a fair bit with these. So definitely want to have improved. Uh, well, we've got a little bit of tandem we could use. So standard would be five turns of shooting. So it's five, ten turns there. And then three more, 13, 18 turns of shooting. Or maybe we don't have to go with 18. This is 100 rounds. Go with 15 and a half turns of firing. I think it's probably fine. And then we go internals. Nah, I think we have to leave that off. But we can put clan armor in. That gives us case on both sides. Got a built-in searchlight. We got case 2 plus in the center torso. Reduces the internal explosion damage only five points. I mean, technically you could do that. It just seems wrong, though. <laughs> just looking at that, you're just looking at it, you're like, yeah, that just doesn't seem right. Why would you want to do that? It probably is the right way to go, though. I have to... Oh, armor. See, I think we haven't maxed the armor out on this thing yet. That's the other issue. So we would like, well, uh, yeah, like we're almost at like no, like that, like that. So we're maxed out everywhere on the front, a little bit less on the back, and we got half a ton left over. So what could we throw in for half a ton? Or we could just take out a half a ton of incendiary. Go with 13 turns of firing with these guys. And then put another heat sink in. Like maybe we move. Yeah, like that. It's too bad we can't get the clan ERs in there, but we can't, we can't sink the heat. Right? We're looking at another like 20 heat or more. So it's not too bad. I mean, seven difference. 
it, once again though it just seems like a weak loadout you know and then we need some kind of targeting in here but we don't have the other thing is putting a guardian ECM or something in got advanced zoom mark one it's not much but at least it's 540 meters it'll help with the uh, close-in fighting with the MRMs as far as stuff goes do these have a jam chance? I don't think they do. No. Just the minus accuracy. Which we make up for with the improved ammo. Um, offensive push accuracy. Clustering doesn't really help with MRMs. Because I believe MRMs are ineffective by clustering. We could go with energy accuracy. To get those uh, lasers on point a fair bit. There's also flak, which is evasion ignore. Minus one recoil with weapons. Plus 20% chance to deal critical hits. That's not bad. Improved would would give us called shot bonus. Which doesn't really help too much with MRMs, but it does with the ER lasers. And gives us night vision. It's such a hard choice. I, ah, shit, I keep forgetting I gotta put this in. This is gonna go in the Stormcrow. This will give us a fire, this will, this will give us firearm maneuver. So I guess we could put a regular gunnery cockpit in there for now. And then maybe sniper sensors. What are the power sensors in difference? Counters ECM stealth by two, three to sensor detection bonus. Detection minefields 120 meter radius. What's the snipers ones do? Better sensor range, better sight range, plus two to sensor detection. Low tier ECM, granting penalty of one of enemy sensor checks. So this is Counters ECM. So this is better for targeting. And this gives you a little bit more defense, it looks like. They're both pretty good, though. That's worth 300,000. This one's worth 970,000. So. Low tier ECM. Should probably add that. Because we don't have an ECM on this guy. Now I don't think... Oh, you can! Put the lower arms on these guys. Nice! That gives us another plus one to hit with the lasers. Okay. I think that's a build for now. I didn't mean to actually build it right now, but... I think that'll work. We'll see how it goes. 4.6 isn't really a big speed for getting these MRMs into play, but we are trying to re replace the, the uh, trebuchets with these guys, so... This would probably help. And then once we pull all the head components out of the trebuchet, we can put it in here and put them in here. But I want to get this built and running first. So let's just go ahead and validate that. That way I can be running missions while these mechs are getting updated. It's going to be nine days, right? I can run another mission in the interim. In the Avatar, I'll build offline. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to look at getting some Goss ammo for this and maybe turn this into a Goss, like long-range Goss platform. Um... We can keep the LRM-20, put a Gauss rifle in it with some ammo, and then maybe replace the uh, the laser, one of the lasers with a PPC or something. Don't know if we'll be able to sink all that heat, but we can just turn it to a, like a long-range fire platform. Put the PPC in the head, <laughs> Gauss rifle here, and LRM-20. I think that'll be kind of cool. But uh, we'll see how it goes, all right? So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please put the comments in the comment section down below about what you think the loadout should be. And what do you think of my idea of maybe like doing a series where we get community involvement somehow? Um, but yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.